Hello YouTube, this is the sixth video in our JavaScript advanced tutorial series. In this video we'll be talking about classes. Um, so classes are different in JavaScript than in most other languages because they're not really fully supported, but there is a um, similar way of defining them um, in JavaScript as to other languages. So um, basically what a class is, is it's a like a set of variables and functions um, so what we do is we create a variable um, whatever we want and set it equal to these curly brackets and then inside of them we define all of our class variables so inside of here we can have say var1 we can give that a value of 1. We can say var2, we can give that a value of 2. We can say var3, we can give that a value of string, whatever we want. Um, sorry, these need to be commaed out, separated by commas. Um, but we can also do function 1 and say that's basically equal to a function, function 2, sorry, so that's another function, so let's see, if we do console.log test func1, Console.log test func2. Alright, now we can use this class down here. So um, we'll say console.log class variable dot var1. So you do the class name and then the variable name. So we have that correct value, var2, that's correct, var3, that's correct. Um, now we can log out this function, but it's not going to return anything. It'll just log out the actual code. Um, that doesn't execute the function though. To execute the function, we write that, and it doesn't work. What's going on here? Oh, uh, sorry. Obviously, we need our parameters, and there we go. You can also add parameters. Oops. So, as you can see, um, and then you can also call func2, like so. Alright, so, okay, uh, let me show you one last thing actually. Var array name is equal to array. Array name 0 is equal to a class. So we can say x thirty three and we can log array name zero dot x and it works just like a normal variable just as we'd like, and you can do the same thing with functions, but I'm not going to show that because that's kind of a waste of time. Um, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, make sure you add a comment. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to be working with switch statements, which are similar to if statements, but different. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.